Every time I fish here, I fish with the master. And every time the master does this. It's gonna be another hard day at the office. And here we are in another location X. This time I'm joined by my friend Basi. And what are we gonna do in this episode? We are going to fish some brown trout. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, and last man on the river is a... Ice cream juice. <laughs> You've done a lot of restoration here. Uh, what is this small stream? Well, this small stream, we have made this for small droughts a few yeah. years ago. Uh, we have restored it. We have removed three different dams here. Okay. So it's free to swim through. Mm -hmm. There's no stock trout No, here. no. Yeah. Uh, only, only eggs. Or just a, and some year very small, yeah. just hatch trout. We put the eggs on the top of the boxes, then we put it under the water, and that's it. Yeah, basically, the eggs are there around one month, so they hatch around May. Around May, yeah. 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 When the birds are active, many times also the trout might, trout might be active. So have your eyes on the birds and concentrate on those areas because that's, that's places where the trout can be as well. And the trout might also show themselves, you know, they, they might attack the bait fish on the surface, so you might see some action on the surface. So that's always a good indication. What are the bait fish that are in the stream now? What are the fish after uh, in the streams? Mainly they eat birds. Birds. More, more. Yeah. Small birds yeah. uh, that are around seven to nine centimeters. Yeah. Then there are also bigger birds that mm. trout might eat, but yeah. uh, mostly the small ones. And yeah. then there are also bleak. Yeah. And uh, bleaks are around ten centimeters. Finnish trout fishing is common to fish these short rapids between lakes, but this is almost smaller than than we normally fish even in Finland. Yeah, almost the shortest <laughs> yeah. rapid in Finland, but it's only about 100 meter long. These bridges are meeting places for fishermen, but they're also places where we're scanning the stream. So we're looking for the birds, we're looking for different insects, and of course we're looking if, if we see some fish on the surface. This kind of place might look for many viewers from, from somewhere else than Finland, like a place that, you know, it's just too fast current. But in Finland, this is the place that we concentrate. Yeah. And the small bait fish is here, and the big fishes are here as well. The best times for the fishing are quite short, especially now when it's, when it's warm and really there's a lot of sunshine. We concentrate on evening, which starts basically now, it's eight o'clock and uh, we fish the evening until night time. We have a couple of hours of sleep and then we fish uh, early morning as well. I have quite thick tippets here because the minimum uh, thickness of tippet here is 0.25. So we can't even use thinner than that. Uh, thinner than that, so uh, that's why I have quite thick ones. Even for nymphs and, uh, and small flies, we use 1x. So fluorocarbon sinks better than monofilament and it's also a little bit less visible. So every any time I'm fishing below the surface, I'm usually using fluorocarbon leaders or tippets. And then with dry fly fishing, fishing with pupa patterns and uh, stuff like that, then I use monofilament because it just keeps the flies higher in the surface. I'm about to start with the 
8 weight, 9 foot Merisuola Graffin rod. This is the main set that I use here for the when I fish with the big streamers. Uh, I have leader dip now 0.40 millimeter. Most effective fly for me here for the big trout. Birch tinsel streamer. This one is tight on two. I use a lot of two flies because you can always add a new sharp hook when the fly hit the rocks or bottom. Usually when I fish upstream, I first take the line in a little bit slower so the fly comes with the flow and after a few casts I speed up a little bit and try to swim the fly downstream faster than the current. I had a one take over there just a minute ago and after that we saw one fish under the white water section under the fastest water so the fish are many times under those foamy sections we have a lot of water in the river right now i i think we have over 50 centimeters from normal water level so we have to sink the fly a little bit so the fish can see it much better. Okay. Oh, nyt on. Oi perkele. Why did you lost it? We just need to land, land some of these now. That was pretty heavy pull. Okay. That's yeah. Nice. I need to change the fly. Because he was one of the most powerful words in Finnish language. Perkele. That means he lost the fish. <laughs> Just five minutes ago there was no seagulls and now they're really active. What yeah. do you think? I think they have to bleak. Yeah. yeah. We're looking for the seagulls when they're taking the bleak from the surface and waiting for the sun to go down a little bit. It's a little bit too bright at the moment. Actually, I think many of you know Pasi somehow, at least if you know Vision a little bit, because uh, Pasi has taken many of our pictures that we use in our catalogs, website, social media. So he's a great photographer. And of course, he's a great and very passionate uh, fly fisherman. And this is actually his home river. He's been running this place for 20 years. And uh, running means being involving with, with the uh, selling of fishing licenses, restoration, everything involving that. It's great to see people who are so passionate as Pasi is about this place and fly fishing in general. I had a one take under that white water section in the middle of the river okay. a while ago. So I think you should try that one now. What do you think? I have a actually your perch to know. <laughs> it's a perfect streamer yeah. because it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. Try to cast above the stone yeah. and then it, let it drift down. Oh. Was it a fish? Nice, is it? Yeah. It was a small one. Yeah. It was a small one. Yeah. Small trout. After two or three casts, yeah. then you saw the fish yeah. hitting your fly. So, so you change the fly and then try again. Yeah. yeah. Make a, some, some around five casts, then change it again. Yeah, I, do, I do the same, but how, how do you feel when you change the fly? Do you change the size or the color or both? Or? Both, both. Yeah. I, I think it doesn't matter. The thing is you ch do some, some kind of change. Yeah. yeah. So I'm using our XO Graphene 9 foot 7 inch 7 weight 
and I like this for streamer fishing because it has a good action, has good backbone in the lower part of the rod, it still bends from there so I can really do the raw cast and different spay casts really easily. And when I have a little bit of length, you know, that nine foot and seven inch on top of that, I have a good control of the line and it also helps swimming with all of these raw casts and spay casts. Nice take, nice fish. What can you do? Anti. No. Why you lost it? I'm a bad angler. Yeah. I just lost it. I don't know. Just don't, don't do that again. I'm sorry, Pussy. I, I'll try not to do that. But it was nice. <laughs> Got it to take. Yeah. It was a nice fish. Which one was it? It was, uh, I think it was the one that you had before because it was just on that yeah. know, between the ro rocks nearer to the big rock yeah, yeah. just on the uh, yeah where it should be basically yeah yeah, yeah. that's right it was a decent sized fish yeah yeah, yeah it was I, yeah. Yeah, I failed it also yeah, yeah. Nice fat perch. I wouldn't be surprised if I catch several different species from the same, same spot. So that was a perch. There's probably, even though it's a small spot, there's, there can be so many different species there. There can be eyed, roach, perch, and of course, hopefully trout. I told oh. Let's watch the master at work. Pussy is just the master in fishing with streamers. I just like to watch him, him work. Cast upstream, you don't need long casts here. And see how long the drift is that he's making and he's having a good contact with the flies all the time. And he can make a strike at any time the fish takes. And he knows this place better than probably anybody else and uh, just nice to see somebody fish who really knows what they're doing. <laughs> As you can see. Now there are hatching a lot of different insects. Yeah. Uh, there are caddies, uh, yep. caddies and mayflies, yellow mayflies. Yeah, there was really a lot of yellow mayflies on the inflow. Yeah. And seagulls, now they are feeding on the air. Yeah. The trout were sleeping, so we go sleeping. And we're gonna wake up really early, probably like three or four, 
four o'clock in the morning and then try again. The time is now 25 past midnight. Started the morning with a <coughs> perch tin top. Misty morning. Let's try this first. I didn't use this last evening, so I thought that I start with something, something fresh. Oh. I think that's a trout. Fish on! I saw the tank. That was nice. I was just about to make the cast there because I thought it was just a fish on the surface. <laughs> but I guess it was on Fatih's fly. Uncle Diamond! Is it a trout? Yes. Yes! Yes! Waking up early, straight off. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> good <laughs> because yeah. I was at least really <laughs> tired. <laughs> nice trout. Yes. It's quite the super thin to fly. Yeah. I saw the tape. Yeah. I yeah. was just about to make the cast, but then I realized, oh, it took your fly actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fat fish. Yeah. Really, really nice looking fish. I think this is the same one that bite my fly late in the evening. Yeah. This is the one I saw. Okay. It, it was in the same spot. So. Yeah, it's a really nice looking fish. Really good, in good shape. Wild fish. Perfect start for the morning. <laughs> yes. Yes. Silver shiny, super thing to fly. And now we can go back to sleep. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> no, we just started. Early morning is a good time for trout fishing. Seems so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should leave the place for a while. It can rest and it's very possible to get another one from the same area, but let it rest for a few minutes now. Is the morning better than the evening, or how, how do you how do you prefer? Or yeah, is the morning day is good? Many times very good. It's always good to fish late and early hours. A yeah. couple of words about wading shoes. Felt sole is a really good option in these situations, in this kind of fishing, when you're wading a lot and you're not walking big distances. Felt still has a really really good grip. Probably even the best grip in these conditions in the water. Uh, 
But I don't feel a need for felt sole anymore because I use uh, our Michelin soles. I use our Musta Michelin at the moment. And uh, I have our Michelin rubber sole with studs. And this just gives really, really good grip in any situation, whether I'm in the water on, on, on the wet stones or walking big distances or on the grass. So I like the Musta Michelin actually in every situation and Musta, Musta shoe is just a nice comfortable shoe and I can walk big distances with these shoes and feel comfortable. No need. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Basi! Okay. Great, Antti. Is it a big one? I don't think it's a really big one. I thought it was a bigger one first. It's pretty silver. Yep. It's a pretty bright one. Yeah. Nice. First, it felt much heavier than actually it is. It's a yeah. nice fish, but I, have, I was I thought that was a proper proper big one on, on there. But it's a nice fresh fish, and it's really really <laughs> has a lot of power. Yeah. I did cast there with three different flies before it took. This was the fourth fly that I was casting there, and I don't know was it the color. I also changed the angle. Just I went two meters upstream from the spot that I was casting first. Made the first cast and the fish took. It's amazing how much it can change. Maybe you'll see this in our next catalog or let's see. Let's get it back. Yeah. yeah. Great. Congrats, Antti. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful morning. Yeah, really, really beautiful. Good thing we woke up early. Yeah. Bleak. Yeah, that's the name of the game yep. today. My favorite type of streamer. I use it for almost anything. But this coloration, this size, just a perfect, not a perfect, obviously, but it's a good imitation of a bleak. Let's talk about the rods and the gear in general that we've been using and what we've been catching fish. I know Pasi has been using our Merisuola Graphene for his streamer fishing, he likes that. And of course, our Merisuola lineup is, is just a great choice for any kind of streamer fishing, whether you're on the coast, saltwater, or even here in the streams. But I've been using our nine foot seven inch, uh, seven weight Exo Graphene as my streamer rod. And I have our Vibe 85 Plus uh, on the reel, which as a full floating line is, is just one of the best streamer lines there is. Another good option would be our hybrid in the lighter weights, which is also really, really good on these situations. And the good thing about the hybrid is you can change the tip if you want to use a sink tip. In this small kind of stream, you don't necessarily need those tips. So I'm using the Vibe 85 Plus, but on bigger, bigger rivers, bigger streams, you might, might want to change the, the tip of the line as well. Then Pasi has our 9 foot 3 inch 6 weight as his second rod for all of the nymphs and, and hopefully also the dry fly fishing, which we might do. And he has the XO100 on it. And this rod, in my opinion, is just one of the best all-around trout rod series. You can do almost anything with it. So, just a good all-around trout rod. Nine, nine foot, three inch, six weight. And then I'll just show you one more Exo Graphene rod, which is the new nine foot, five weight. We haven't been using this now here because you can't even use a five weight here. The, the rules say that you can only use six weight and above uh, because of big fish and hard current. But we have a new rod for the Exo Graphene series this year, which is a 9 foot 5, and it's a little bit shorter 
than the other five weights on the lineup. And what I've been using as a nymphing rod and lighter rod is our nine foot six weight prototype rod that I'm not going to tell you more about. You'll probably see these rods in the market next year, 2022. It's not quite finished yet, but let's see. This is going to be something you see next year. Like the title says, it's another hard day at the office and we are here actually testing the rods that you'll see on the market in the future. But now I'm going to try to catch a fish for you all. Now we have a very active moment and the trouts are feeding with the bait fish now. So, well, you never know how long it, it will last. So we need to also be active now and chase all the hot spots on the river. So I didn't have a good look on that fish show. I'm not sure what it was, but at least it felt like a, like a trout. But that one, I'm not 100% sure. Fish on! Ah, oh, no ne! Toki la sana tupla! Another beauty. Nice. It's a fat one. Quite, quite fat here. Yeah. Yes. It's fat all the way to the back, to the to the back fin. Yeah. Tail. Uh, Extra. I'm me. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice splashes. <laughs> so you had the fish yesterday here. Right yeah. next to the bank. It jumped up to my fly. I, yeah. I think this was the same yeah. because it, it was the same spot that it hit now. Yeah. On this area, we shouldn't weigh near the bank because yeah. the fish are very, very close to the bank. Yeah. So I normally cast from here upstream and fish this spot like that. Then I go up and walk on the upper part and then. Mm. I fish there the same spot with, from the big, different angle. Yeah. So if you know or think it's a good place to fish, maybe try it with different angles. Cast upstream, maybe across stream, and on this place, like Pussy said, walk on the upstream and just fish it downstream. And we've been switching around, fishing downstream, giving the up, upper part the rest. Yes. Then switching out the other way. Yeah. Going upstream and letting yeah. the downstream rest. So yeah. It seems yeah. that it works pretty well. Yeah. And it always it, gets half an hour maybe of yeah, rest. Yeah. That's important to leave the some place for rest for a while. Yeah. So, yeah.
That's a proper trout. Yeah, it's a trout. <laughs> Woo! Okay, good. Beautiful fish. I think I will release. Now. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I first cast upstream on that spot and it showed itself. So I realized right away that this, this is the big one. So uh, I think after two or three casts, it bites the fly really hard. Mm. Uh, it's a tube fly. I use a lot of, a lot of tube flies. What a great ending for the morning. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah. Few beautiful trouts. Yeah. yeah. And the last one, <laughs> one a little yeah, bit bigger yeah. one. That was real beautiful. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. I uh, guess I guess we can say that we had a lot of color on it today. Yeah. I think so. So yeah. we can say to all of you, as we say in Finland, color on. Yeah. <laughs>